drought can cause serious problems for the local communities, like damage to crops and a shortage of drinking water, both issues that can lead to social disasters, which in other countries have resulted in famine, poor nutrition, forced migration, and conflict over resources and economic disasters, such as crop loss, a decrease in land prices, and unemployment to de due to declines in production, all problems that we have seen in our country, Italy. Droughts can also have drastic effects on wildlife. Some trees and plants have adapted to withstand the effects of drought through various survival methods. More negative impacts also include damage to habitats, loss of biodiversity, soil erosion, and an increased risk from wildfires. In addition, we have seen that many modern agricultural practices may make land more vulnerable to drought because new irrigation techniques have increased the amount of land that can be used for farming, but they have also increased farmers' dependence on water and they need more water than what they actually have. Drought has always been a problem in the south of Italy, especially for the lack of infrastructure which bring water into the countryside. But this year, also the north was affected. Cows suffer and die due to the muddy weather. So in our supermarket, there is less milk and more expensive. South, known for his citrus fruit, has a huge problem with this because they die and fall too early, provoking a great loss to the local and national economy. But this problem is Europe-wide, as we can see from the hunger stone, once common in Central Europe and used to alert the population when there was a water stress prediction of famine. Nowadays, the problem of drought is becoming profoundly serious, especially in our country. In 2022, Italy has declared a state of emergency in five northern regions. According to scientists, it is the worst drought in 70 years. For example, the valley of River Po, which produces around 40% of country's food, is now at risk. Drought in this specific area of the country harms the economy. Moreover, it affects beekeepers that, due to the shortage of flowers, bees cannot carry out their precious work. As a result, in Italy, agricultural productivity is estimated to have fallen by 20%. Urgent measures are necessary. Scientists also announced that by reason of drought, the Italian Alps are more vulnerable to landslides and erosions because of the death of woods and forests. The Sardinian's reservoirs this summer were almost full, even though Europe was, Europe was facing one of the most threatening droughts in its history. And experts said that the island was able to continue with those supplies by almost to the end of 2023. This is because the Sardinian regional government had adopted many uh, policies in order to prevent future uh, droughts, because Sardinia had always been affected by those problems. And those, those resolutions were a unique and single uh, organization of the water mains and water supplies and the construction of many uh, dams. Now in Sardinia there are over uh, 37 dams and those in Sardinia are considering a solution. But can we use dams as a solution for global uh, response to droughts? We know that they create a threat to the life of wildlife, to for pollution of water itself, and for the uh, environment in the, circus, in, the, in the area where the dams are constructed. As we have seen, drought is dangerous. It is a threat to the environment as they cause wildfires, landslides, erosion, and habitat loss. It is threatening as it is one of the main reasons for food security issues caused by reducing productivity and pu pushing up prices. And it is unsustainable as it causes many social issues such as poverty, famine, and in general, it threatens livelihoods.